This podcast episode is the introduction to balancing chemical equations. If you have not watched a podcast episode on conservation of mass, do so prior to watching this video. As we've been discussing in class, chemical reactions must follow the law of conservation of mass. The mass of the reactants must equal mass of the products. And one way we do that in chemistry is to make sure that equations, when written, are balanced using coefficients. On the screen shows a chemical reaction. It's taking oxygen and hydrogen and forming water. When we look at this reaction, the oxygen is in the form of diatomic oxygen, or O2, and the hydrogen is diatomic hydrogen, which is H2, and it forms H2O. When we examine the reaction, we see that there are two oxygens and two hydrogens being used to form two hydrogens and one oxygen. The problem is that is not a balanced reaction and that is not following our law of conservation of mass. So we have to go through and balance this chemical reaction. We can follow several simple steps to balancing chemical equations. The first is to identify the known values. That includes writing down the equation. The second step is to list all the numbers of each atom per element. We use the T method in class. We describe that at length on how we do that to make sure that we know that all the elements are represented for each of the atoms that are in a chemical formula. And the third thing is to add coefficients to the problem until the equation is balanced. Let's look at an example. Using the T method, we want to make sure that we write down all the variables. For our water synthesis problem, we've already written it on the page here. O2 plus H2 forms H2O. The next step is to form our T chart, our graphic organism, and list the elements that are involved in the reaction, as well as each of the atoms per element. As you can see, on our reactant side, we have two oxygens and two hydrogens. And on the product side, we have two hydrogens and one oxygen. To balance this chemical equation, we must add coefficients. Those are the numbers that go in front of chemical formulas. They are multiplied through, increasing the number of atoms. As we can see, we have two hydrogens on both sides, which is balanced. However, we do not have the right number of oxygens. We need two more oxygens to make this balanced. If we write coefficient 2 in front of water, we change the number of oxygens to 2, because it's 2 times its co uh, subscript 1, which equals 2. The coefficient 2 changes hydrogen because the subscript for hydrogen is 2. So it's 2 times 2, and hydrogen is now 4. To finish balancing this equation, we must look at the reactant side of the problem, because now we have an imbalance of hydrogen. We can simply make this balanced by adding a coefficient of 2 in front of the H2 gas, hydrogen gas. That's 2 times its subscript, and now we have 4 hydrogen. This is now a balanced chemical equation. So when we balance chemical equations, we must keep in mind that we're trying to follow the conservation of mass law. By adding coefficients to the beginning of chemical formulas, we're essentially saying we're multiplying the entire chemical formula by that number. So when we take O2 plus 2 hydrogen gas molecules, we actually have four hydrogen atoms, and that helps to form two water molecules, which is two H2O. To see more examples, be sure to check out the other podcast episodes looking at how we balance chemical equations. Thank you.